These pins, so I think I'm gonna stick with them. Hey guys, it's Lucas and I. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing that is school shopping video. We're at Target, and I'm really excited to do this because my favorite part of back to school is the supply shopping part. So I have a list. It's basically just a binder, some folders, pencils, a pencil case, a couple of other little things. I'm gonna pick up things as I see things, but I'm just really excited. So let's go. I low key like this green color. I just feel like I don't know. I'm feeling it. It's a college roll notebook. It has 170 sheets. Normally, well, last year I got a five subject, but the five subject really didn't work for me. I think if I need another notebook, I will just get one, but most of the time I don't even fill up like a section of the subject that I'm using. But I use the five subject for different classes, but I don't think I would need that this year. Just because it's going to be a little bit simpler. So for now, I'm going to pick up this green five star notebook. Do you slide on all your nights like this? Do you try on all your nights like this? I might. Put some spotlight on the slide. I got this gray folder. Last year I only needed one folder, and then at the end of the year, I we order got in my folder, and it was a paper folder, so yeah. But I got this plastic folder this time, and I mean, it's great. I think that's the theme I'm going for, and I don't know. Yeah, it just has two pops on the inside, like a normal folder. I was gonna pick up the pronger, but I'm getting a binder, and I really hate when the when your stuff gets um, stuck in between the prongs. So I have a regular gray folder. It's on the wrist of Lincoln Charm, yeah. Layer was still. I always just get these pencils, but I feel like they're overrated and they always break after like a week of you using them. So I'm not gonna get these this time. I think I'm gonna try these. They're a bit velocity. I only need a couple because I basically write with pen most of the year. Turn up, pipe up. We gonna light up and burn up, burn up. Mama. And now I'm gonna get some just regular college roll paper. I have a tendency of getting too much paper, so this year I'm gonna start with one pack, and then if I need more, I'm gonna get more. This time I'm trying to just not overbuy school supplies like I always do. I feel like I'm always like too excited and just start picking up stuff. But I feel like I've matured now. So one pack college roll. If I need more, I'm pretty sure I can check in my old book bag and I have some more in there too. I picked up this green notebook, but now I'm changing my mind and I think I want white or gray. I might put some spotlight on the slide. Oh yeah. What else? I always get these pins, so I think I'm gonna stick with them. Um just my mom. Now I need a pencil case and I was looking at this pink one just because it's pink and it doesn't look too childish. Like it kind of looks childish but not too much but I need one because all of my pencils do should just be in the bottom of my book bag and I can never find them so hopefully now I'll be able to keep all my pencils and pens and erasers and stuff in one pencil case. Like Alright y'all, now I'm going to pick up some colored pencils because last year we used them, but I didn't buy them so I always had to borrow some and I just hated that for myself so now we're going to make sure we buy some. I'm thinking about just like maybe a 24 pack because I know in the 12 pack they're not going to have pink. So yeah, 24 pack of pencils. If you love me, baby, let me hear you say it. I know I'm your favorite. First you love me, then you leave me in the... Hi, right, you guys. I am in the like, self-care hygiene section of Target. And I need 
a kind of emergency kit, like my needs for school. So I'm thinking about picking up a pouch, but I don't know what kind yet. Um, they have sizes, but they're like really small and then big. And I know my book bag won't fit all of that, so I'm trying to find another size. But for now, it's small pink one, and then we'll see from there if I need to get a bigger one. I probably will, but I just let y'all know. Y'all, I'm gonna pick up this EOS solution just because at school when you wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning, sometimes you just forget to put lotion on in some spots. So I'm gonna put this in my kit. This is sort of one of the I have to carry a brush to school. Wow, my, the back of my head will look absolutely crazy. Target and I am here to do a haul from Target. I'm super excited about the school year because of these things. I kind of have a more of a color theme but it's different than what I'm used to. Y'all will see later but usually I just do like white or black. This year is kind of different and I'm kind of like coming out of my nonchalant ways about certain things and like the school supplies. When I was younger I was really excited. This time I was more of a calm, cool, collected, don't pick up everything. But I just wanted to show y'all some of the things that I got. The first thing that I got was this binder. It is a gray D-ring binder. Last year I got a really like cutesy pink binder. And it ended up breaking like less than halfway through the year. Well actually, okay, so the first one, a Capri Sun exploded in my backpack and so that was molded or whatever and then the second one it broke like a month after i got it just because i had like i guess i had too much stuff in it but i feel like if you're a binder you should be able to hold paper and i didn't have too much in there so this time i just got a regular target brand binder and hopefully it will hold up it's not like paper like the last one so it's not as flimsy so hopefully that will last me the whole school year next to match i have this five star folder i get a folder every year last year my folder broke in half like this so this year hopefully i'm more responsible with my folders but yeah we're just keeping up with the gray theme and then i picked up this a cute white notebook last year i had a white notebook but I had picked up like a green notebook and it really wasn't going with my whole like look that I was going for like it was cute but maybe next year I'll have like a green thing but this year I just got another white five star um I was looking at the different five star notebooks and this one seemed kind of more heavy duty than some of the other ones and I was wondering why like I don't know this it had the same type of pages and the same number of pages, but these, this book just seems a little more sturdy. I don't know if it's because it has like folders inside of it. I promise one year I'm going to get a colored notebook, but they never have like cute pastel colors. They're always dark colors and I really don't like dark colors. Moving on, I have five star paper for my binder. I use like my notebook for notes and stuff and then like my binder for scratch work and study guides and stuff because normally my teachers in the past years have printed out study guides and then they give us options to punch holes in them and then we can put them in our binder and that makes it easier than just putting them in our folder my folder would be for things that are already done or things that i won't need down the line but my notes i like to keep to the end of the year so i will put them in my binder next speaking of a binder i have these binder dividers last year i used my ones from the year before so i just went ahead and got some new ones these also have folders i'm not going to tell myself that i have too many folders because last year i think i had more than enough room to store things somehow things always ended up in the bottom of 
my backpack. So hopefully these are enough folders. So basically in these dividers, each divider has like a folder pocket and it has different colors. Like a, a dark blue, more of a gray, and then tealish mint green, and then a lavender. And then moving on from the things that you write on, I have things that you write with. So this is where I started getting like colorful. I wanted to have like pink accents in my school supplies and not all pink because I know later on down the line I'm going to get burnt out of pink. So I just got like stuff that wasn't that expensive. Like things I can just switch out or not use. So the first thing that I got was this pink pencil case. I think this pencil case is so cute. It has multiple pockets. It has three. So on the first zipper, when you unzip it, there's a side pocket with netting and a place to store pins or whatever. In the next pocket, you have your primary pocket. So you can put your colored pencils and stuff in here. Your primary pocket. You just stick your pins or whatever in there. This pencil case is very versatile. It has a lot of storage and that's what I need. Because like I mentioned in the store, last year my pencils, I always lost them because I put them in the side pocket of my backpack or in the front pocket of my backpack or just threw them in my backpack and I never could find them after that. And when I cleaned out my book bag, there was always one that was broken in the bottom of my book bag. The whole spring semester, the whole last semester of school, I kept up with one pencil and it was a mechanical pencil. I don't know where it is today, but that pencil got me through a lot. For years, when I tell you years, I mean since probably second grade, I have been getting those paper made pencils that push on the front. Every time I buy those pencils, they break after like a week, but they write so good at first, but then after a week or after they run out of lead, they're just done for. Like the front of them start breaking. If you drop them, the, the plastic breaks, so you cannot put the eraser back on. And it's just a lot of extra unnecessary things going on with those pencils. So I switched it up this year and I got a new brand of pencils. And I only got a one pack because I just didn't want to get a whole bunch of pencils and not like them. I'm gonna show y'all, I have these big Velocity pencils. I actually remember from like fifth grade, it was this really smart girl in my class and she had these and she let me borrow one. And I was like in love, but I could never find them until now. So they were at Target. Hopefully they live up to my fifth grade memories. And I really don't find myself erasing things a lot i'm a more pen girly i go through pens way faster than i go through pencils so that's why i only got two pencils i got the regular snuggler pack and it doesn't have the neon colors it's just the regular colored pack these are more for notes y'all know on like pinterest and stuff when they color code their notes that's basically what i do with my colored pens um, I do have some pens from last year that I bought like at the end of the school year that still have some type of ink and they're neon so that's why I didn't buy the neon colors. This new Sharpie S-Note Duo Martin. Basically I think one side is a highlighter and one side is a marker. These very much do remind me of the midliner pens that all the aesthetic girls used to get. I never used to get them because they're like... $15 and I'm not paying for those. So these were half the price. I think these were around $7. It has eight in here. Another thing is these colored pencils. I got 24 instead of 12 because y'all know I love my pinks and my like light greens and stuff. And they never have that in the regular 12 pack. They only have like the primary colors and then black, brown, and white. I also would have got glue and scissors, but I'm pretty sure I have enough from elementary school. I'm not sure if I showed y'all this, but if I did, then this would probably edit it out. But I got this planner. It's a 2023-2024 planner, 
It starts in July and goes all the way to June of 2024. They give you an agenda at school, but it's basically just a hall pass. Like, I only use that agenda for a hall pass because, I don't know, it's not cute to me and it's kind of cheap. The pages fall out really quick. If you have any in blue bag for a while. So, this planner basically has all of your months and it's tiny, so I can kind of carry it around everywhere with me. Next, we're going to move on to the kind of emergency bag things. I bought some things, but I didn't want to buy a bunch of unnecessary stuff so i would just tell y'all some things that i would get that i already have or some things that target didn't have i also will probably pack that bag in my get ready with me for school or another back to school video i'm not really sure but i will let y'all know first thing i have are these cleaning every season is allergy season for me as soon as i get in school i start sneezing i I think they have too much dust in there or something and I'm allergic but this is perfect for me I can take one out store the rest hopefully the angle didn't change too much but my camera overheated next I got this micellar cleansing water it's because something literally is always on my face at school I'm not gonna try to make this a habit but I did start wearing makeup so if I need to take it off in school, I'll just do that. If it looks crazy in school and I regret putting it on in the morning, I'll just have this in my bag that I can always take out and wash and wipe my face. Next, I have this brush to brush the wigs I've been wearing. Um, last year, I carried around a huge brush and it was just irritating so now i have a little one i can just pull out brush and put it right back up into my bag i mean i thought this was lotion but it's actually shaving cream it smells all right i don't really like fruity scents like that i definitely use this but just not for school next i have a touchland power mist hand sanitizer i bought one of these in march of this year i love this thing you just pull it out miss 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 spray 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 and then you're done and then lastly i have these hair ties because either i'm always in school and i need to put my hair up or somebody else asks for a hair tie also in my bag i'll pack like personal items or whatever if y'all know what i mean and then some got to be glued like the edge the black bottle i have some of that in the small bottle but there's barely any left so i have to go to the beauty supply store and pick that up and then also edge brush because my edges never last that but that is it for my back to school haul i really hope y'all enjoyed i can't wait to get more into the back to school season this is only the beginning but i love y'all and i will see y'all next time if you got to this point in this video comment down below the backpack emoji i'll see y'all in the next video bye